Hi guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Passion for Purple. This is a collaboration hosted by Kim over at Metal Scrap and Chick whose favorite color is purple. And so basically the collaboration is you create any type of craft or project you want as long as you're using the color purple. So for my projects this month, I have been working on using Finishing off this super slab from Probo Craft. It's dated 2006 and I didn't have, it says 96 sheets. And I don't think I had the whole pack. I think I had split this one with my mother-in-law when I bought it because I got some stuff back from her and she had some of the blues and I had the purples and some of the greens. So I think we maybe had split it and um, divvied it up so that we didn't have a full 96 sheets so anyway I've been I only had I had like 15 sheets left and so I've been trying to finish this off uh, this month for my project and so I decided to use the purple for my passion for purple collaboration so I started off with a card my sister's birthday is coming up in June her favorite color is purple and she loves dragonflies so I decided to combine the one dragonfly element I had or I guess there's two because I used one on the inside along with the purple and the aqua papers and created a card for her. I just stamped out happy birthday and it's in like a green ink. I felt like black would have been too stark on this card coming off that purple. So I just used a couple different of the patterns. This little squirrel swirly thing was one of the die cuts that was in the pad. So was the dragonfly, and then this was a label that was in the pad that I just fussy cut a white mat to go onto. And then on, I also added some Nuvo drops, some clear sparkly Nuvo drops just to accent the card. And then there was a purple dragonfly that I added on the inside. So then I had made my pages here with the butterflies and I had a few pieces left so I decided to go ahead and make a couple other cards and this is a sketch that I didn't bring over but it's a sketch I've used before it basically just uses two squares and then I have a green strip this one is actually broken up into a couple parts because it wasn't long enough and this one goes all the way through that goes on top of the bigger square and underneath the smaller square and then it just added a stamped sentiment and then some more of those glitter, clear gl glitter Nouveau drops. And then I have two pages featuring Little Miss Avery. And I pulled in the butterfly paper. Unfortunately, when I put my pictures on, I ended up covering most of it up. But I had the butterfly paper as my main point to kind of incorporate the purple and the green. And then I brought in a couple other scraps of purple paper. So there's one here that has like a larger like floral swirly pattern to it. And then there's some like almost honeycomb type patterns back here. And then I just used a light purple solid piece of cardstock to kind of separate them. The letters that I used here for new hats, that actually came with the pad. And I apologize, my kids are being awfully noisy in the background. And then this was a little die cut that was part of the pack as well. The butterflies, I actually fussy cut out of the butterfly paper just to have some type of embellishment to go with this one. These are die cuts from the pad. And then I just came in and accented with some, they're like enamel dots, but they're from the Dollar Tree. They, you know, it was, they're kind of like a pastel -y pack of enamel dots from the Dollar Tree just to add a little sparkle and some more dimension. So I have two of these that are mostly the same. This one just uses a different color swirl. It's like a lighter colored swirl. And then the butterflies are a little different. And then here, this was a sticker label that I was afraid to write on that it might be too slicky. So I just added a little strip of purple cardstock over it so I could add my journaling on but then the rest is the same as far as adding the drops and then the, the general layout. So that's what I have for the collaboration this month. Two layouts and three cards. 
featuring purple as my predominant color and it is from the Provo Clap Craft Super Slab. But there are other participants in the collaboration and they will all be linked below. And thank you guys so much for joining me today to see my purple projects. I hope you'll come back next month on the 15th. Otherwise, thanks so much for your time and I hope you're all having a very crafty day.